Hong Kong Sign Language, Shang Gang Shou Yu or HKSL, is the deaf sign language of Hong Kong. It derived from the southern dialect of Chinese Sign Language, but is now an independent and not mutually intelligible, separate language. Macau Sign Language is a dialect, and is understood by practitioners of HKSL, although Macau Sign Language practitioners may find it slightly more difficult to understand HKSL. Origins the origin of HKSL can be traced back to around 1949, when a group of around 20 deaf people moved from Shanghai and Nanjing to Hong Kong and began tutoring the local deaf community to facilitate greater social cohesion and standardization of their sign languages. Chinese Sign Language was the initial medium of instruction, leading to the circulation of CSL among the local deaf community, who adapted the language by developing their own signs with new ideas, concepts or things they encounter in their lives. This led to a further development of the vocabulary and intricacies of Hong Kong Sign Language as separate from CSL. For a number of years, HKSL continued to develop with little external influence, as international travel from Hong Kong and thus interaction between other deaf communities was not always feasible. With more and more Hong Kong deaf people traveling abroad in recent decades for a variety of reasons, borrowings into HKSL have become more common. The American Manual Alphabet was borrowed and adopted, with some adaptations, in this way, as were many other signs. Grammar and vocabulary There are 40 to 50 basic hand shapes in Hong Kong Sign Language. Signs are generally derived from conceptual representation abstract, such as the signs for father and mother. Visual representation direct, such as the signs for to separate and thick skinned or representation of the Chinese character, such as with the signs for to introduce and the Chinese language or rarely the English term, such as with the sign for toilet WC. Question words are generally phrase or sentence final, while the basic word order is SOV. It is worth noting that the subject and object may be omitted in conversation between two people where they are clear from context. Sometimes, signers may speak or mouth the word while signing. For example, when signing the name of a place like Central, the signer may mouth the Cantonese name for Central while signing. This practice may be related to the signer's past training in speech and lip reading, but sometimes mouthing bears no relation to the spoken language, and is an inherent part of the sign. HKSL is interesting among sign languages in that it is entirely ambidextrous, unlike Arabic sign language varieties or, to a lesser extent, ASL. References External links Chinese Sign Language, by Elizabeth T. Yay, October 2804 Center for Sign Linguistics and Deaf Studies, Chinese University of Hong Kong Hong Kong Sign Language Browser Hong Kong Sign Language Association Hong Kong Society for the Deaf Silence Then and Now, Sign Language in Hong Kong by Jason Word Assigned Bilingualism and Deaf Education in Hong Kong ELAR Archive of Preliminary Documentation of Macau Sign Language